What is up guys, Late Night Cacus here. Thank you so much for stopping by, and today we are going to be showcasing how to farm Essence of Dawning insanely fast and efficiently during the Dawning 2020 event for Destiny 2, so you can be pumping out those cookies and getting those rewards. And so, let's get started. Now, of course, the Dawning is all about, as I've said, making cookies, but you do really want to try to masterwork your oven as quickly as possible. That is going to reduce the overall cost of making a cookie from 15 Essence of Dawning down to 10, which is really going to help you in the long run. To do that, you will have to know and create one of every single different recipe. Don't fret, I've done a video detailing all of the different ingredients, recipes, and what you need to know in that regard. It's linked up above. But once you have done that, you're really going to find that you have a bunch of ingredients that you naturally get for playing the game, killing enemies, etc. And the sticking point is always that essence of dawning. That's what you always run out of. So farming it is a great idea. Now I'm going to show you guys two different methods. One is the most efficient. The other is slightly less efficient, but doesn't require you to be as high of level and doesn't need as good of gear. So let's talk about the most efficient first. Well, that's actually going to be farming the 1250 Legend Lost Sector. Now, normally you're going in here solo to get specific exotic rewards, but for this, if you're farming Essence of Dawning, go in there with a group, preferably three, and you can be completing these in under one minute, and as you can see, be getting as much Essence of Dawning around 17 or 18 even, which is equivalent to running an entire strike in the Vanguard playlist. So the efficiency if you are getting those sub one minute runs is truly insane. Now let's talk about some builds to help you run this super fast. So I'm using the Heritage Shotgun, pretty much the best thing you can use in that kinetic slot, the Aikilos SMG for arc damage and war mine cells, and then the Lament. Now remember, your shotgun may change slightly, your primary may change slightly depending on what Lost Sector is on offer and what elemental shields are there, but you're really only going to encounter two types of champions, which are barrier champions and overload champions. The Lament is a great exotic because it pumps out a ton of damage. As you can see in the background gameplay, it's capable of slaying the boss in seconds, but it can also slay champions in seconds and it will deal with those barrier champions. Then if you simply use the Wombo Combo a Grenade Artifact mods that let you stun Overload Champions with Solar or Stasis Grenades and then instantly get your grenade back, well, you've got all the champions covered just there with those few things. And again, if you have multiple people, sometimes you'll miss a grenade. Well, your teammate can help you make up for that. So again, we just had two people running swords here and powerful shotguns, and then we did have the third person running the tractor cannon as just a great void weapon in general, but also an easy way to provide a debuff and let us deal even more damage with those swords. If you're capable of putting together even a similar build and you are of light or higher, this is definitely the way to go. But let's talk about that alternative method. Well, it's actually going to be farming hunts. Kind of. Now for this, you will need at least one other person in your fire team with a full fire team being best. Because what's going on is essentially you're going to replay the same hunt over and over and over again. So as you can see, you slot in the proper mods to your lure and begin your hunt. You damage the boss until it runs away. You interact with the object, which leads you to the next object. And here is where things get interesting. So you're going to interact with this object, which is going to you know, enter a loading screen and load you into the hunt mission itself. Now from here, if you are the person who has the lure and you started this mission, you don't do anything. 
you just sit there and don't damage the enemies. Your teammates go and do the incredibly easy hunt. I mean, most people just solo this. So again, if you have one more teammate, that person just goes and solos the hunt. Then once they kill the final boss, as you can see, whoever's in charge can abandon the activity and they load right back into where they were before and they can just start that same hunt mission again and again and again. So if you aren't damaging the boss, it doesn't count as a completion. So you can just re-go in there, but you're going to be getting 10 Essence of Dawning every single time you do that. Everyone in your fire team will be getting it every single time you do it. And so there you have it, a couple different ways to farm Essence of Dawning extremely fast. Guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.